The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Now, before I get into this reaction, make sure y'all look at the links down below in the description. You can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, play games, do IRL stuff. Really, really fun. My Discord. Come on in and join that shit. And of course, my Patreon where I am 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching with the full reactions available, of course. Um, so, La Tepitot on Game of Thrones. Let's see. What do I remember? What do I remember? What do I remember? John uh, doesn't. I don't. I don't want to say unite the wildlings and the Night's Watch, but rather he wants to make peace. Right? He wants the fighting to stop. They've been fighting for, I guess, I don't know, thousands of years. Like it's 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 some long time like that. He wants that to stop because the the true enemy, the common enemy, <clears throat> or how they call it, the winter is coming. Right? Is the White Walkers? Uh, is the whites? Is the undead? We got to worry about them. If we worry about fighting each other, we're just going to lose even more because that's adding on to their army, right? So John understands this. However, the Night's Watch ain't fucking with it, and I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Even Ollie. Ollie had his fucking whole village killed by the freaking Thens and the Wildlings. There is no reason um, why they should think that this is what John is saying is right. So whatever, w w when they lash out at John, when they, you know, when they disobey John, or just get mad at him they have a right in doing that right because they've been fighting the wildlings the wildlings have been fucking their life up vice versa um but john i mean he's seen the bigger picture being the real lord commander here which kind of fucking sucks for him um, but i mean we can't we can't fight against each other anymore you know what i'm saying and this is just at the night's watch you know most of the world doesn't even believe the white walkers exist so i mean that, that's even more fucked up if we can't convince them that the night's watch the guys who have probably seen some shit that we gotta stop fighting each other and gotta stop worrying about these white walkers then what the fuck is the rest of the world gonna do when they actually come you know winter is coming when i don't know it's been five seasons i'm kind of waiting for that <laughs> but yeah man so john's doing that i mean that, that that's the job of the lord commander bro he's got he's got to make the tough decisions he's got to be the bad guy right in the in, in, in you know the, the whole parent relationship thing but i mean He's seeing the bigger picture. He's doing what it takes. And that, and that's John for you. You know what I'm saying? Very characteristic of John. So it sucks for him, but he's got to do what he's got to do. Um, what next? Uh, Bolton. So apparently there was that weird, uh, very cringe interaction, which was created by Ramsey with Sansa and Theon. Or should we just call him? Should we just call him Reek? I think we just, he, he is literally Reek. You know what I'm saying? I don't see Theon when I look at him. I definitely see Reek, which is so fucked up. But I mean, goddamn truly a broken man anyway so there was that and then uh daddy bolton said they're having a baby which i'm pretty sure means ramsey is no longer like the heir that's how it works right hierarchy in this in this day and age because ramsey is a bastard he is not like true blood if you call it um but the the new son that's being that's going to be born is going to be which obviously pissed off ramsey but uh daddy bolton with the whole fucked up story on how ramsey was conceived apparently they want to take up arms against stannis and stannis is coming right he he went to do his thing at the night's watch tried to convince john yada 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 with the golden company or whatever but now before he hits king's landing he's going to winterfell or at least somewhere in the north to it to to attack the boltons that's his next stop so i mean the next battle we're gonna see is going to be fucking the Boltons versus freaking Stannis. And that's going to be a crazy battle. So I can't wait to watch that whenever that's going to be. Um, what else? What else? What else we got going on? John Bolton. Grey Worm's alive. Thank God. Not only that, he has laid his lips upon the most beautiful woman in the show, Misande. And I haven't really shipped too much in this show. You know what I'm saying? Tyrion and Shay were cool until Shay turned out to be, turned out to be for the streets. You know what I mean? But Missandei and Grey Worm, definitely 100% ship. Do your thing, Grey Worm. She is fine. Goddamn. Um, so there's that. And the last thing I want to talk about is, of course, Tyrion, <sighs> Jorah, and the Stone Men. And I believe, so this is, what, this is what I think I understand here. Stone Men are the results of uh, when, you, when you get grayscale. Grayscale is a disease or whatever the fuck it is it's like a virus that turns you into the stone men and you and you can no longer think for yourself and you're considered dead that's what that means right and the only uh the only um 
example of, of grayscale we've really seen is Shireen, Princess Shireen, Stannis' daughter, where he had to go through the ends of the earth to try to find a cure, and he did. Um, unfortunately, now our guy Jorah has it, and that's bad, because I like Jorah. You know, even though he did his, his, his whole little espionage Varys thing in the beginning of the seasons, he truly does, like, love da uh, da Daenerys and just wants to be by her side, like, loyally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I really feel bad for him when he got kicked out, but I still like him as a character, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, seeing him get grayscale, that's tough. That's tough. And I don't know, Tyrion doesn't seem to know much about it either, so... I don't know how we can get it healed. And he was seen, he's so close to seeing Daenerys again, too, like... Fuck. That's bad, bro. Anyway, I feel bad for my guy. And that's pretty much where the story left off. So, now that we've all now, now that we're all caught up, let's go ahead and get into it. This is Game of Thrones, season five, episode six. Like and subscribe, y'all. Let's go. My stepmother didn't want any rivals for her precious daughter, so she tried to kill me with poison. Jesus. I found out. Sought help from the faceless men. And my father was widowed again. Oh shit. Oh shit! She killed her bitch. <clears throat> Was that true, or a lie? Oh. What? Did you believe every word I said? Oh, I get it. Ah, she must become a liar. Damn. She she has to know how to uh, how to put a mask on. Ooh, that's actually fire. Okay, so you got to be more than no one. You gotta be someone who's not yourself. Damn, that's so good. The game of faces. Okay. Had to kill a sable boy. Drove my sword through his back. Why? How does he know? A man called the Hound. Sandor Clegane. He tried to sell me but was wounded in a fight. He begged me to kill him but I wouldn't. I left him in the mountains to die. I wanted him to suffer. I hated him. I hated him. Ooh. I think she cared for the hound a little bit. I'm not playing this stupid game anymore. We never stop playing. Okay. That was the first instance of Jockin being cruel. Or not cruel, but harsh to Arya. You know, try to toughen her up. The game of faces, huh? Damn. That reminds you of the, of, of the, game, uh, of the drinking game you play called Two Truths and a Lie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That game's fun. I killed my father. Boom. Why the did nuclear. You me for a crime I didn't commit. Sorry. And he was fucking the woman I loved. True. I was sick. I was dying. But my father never gave up on me. He loved me more than anything in the world, just like your father loves you. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of truth, a little bit of lie in that. Mostly lie, but... All right. Hey, the most believable lies are the ones sprinkled with a little bit of truth in them. Real shit. Uh... Are those? Those faces. <laughs> uh, are those the faces of the people they're sacrificing to the many faced god? Yeah, those look like real faces. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Well, now I understand how Jockin changes disguise. Now, normally you would see someone freak the fuck out. But Arya is obviously built differently. So. Her hopes and dreams, her loves and hates, all that makes a girl who she is. Okay. Very peculiar. Very strange. So he's training like her mind first and her mouth, you know, on how to speak rather than training her skill, like in fighting. You know what I'm saying? I kind of fuck with that. Because fighting is like. 
Fighting is kind of easy to teach. It's like step one, step two, hacha, hacha, hacha. But training someone on how to fucking lie and how to speak and how to think, that's just tough. You know what I'm saying? I like that, Jockin. The world's cook has magic powers. What? Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't just hand the dried cock to a merchant and expect him to pay for it. He has to know it came from a dwarf. And how could he know unless he sees the dwarf? It will be a dwarf-sized cock. Guess again. <laughs> True. Actually, I have no idea. He won the tournament at Lannisport, unseating Sir Jamie Lannister himself. Ooh. There we go, Tyrion. Do you think? The men who fight in the pits of Marine will swallow him whole. I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. True. He did. Liar. It's no lie. His name was Quoso. He was blood rider to Khal Drogo. Take me to Slaver's Bay, put a sword in my hand, I'll prove my worth. Yeah. yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Sons help murder my son. Roose Bolton is a traitor. Stannis Baratheon is also a traitor. Marching with his army on Winterfell. Let Stannis and Roose battle. Let the enemies of the throne slaughter each other, and when they're done, seize Winterfell from whichever thief survives. Winterfell is a thousand miles away from here. It's a good plan. Third party win. It's scumbaggy, but in this world, does, this, does the word scumbaggy even exist? <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Baelish. You have a reputation as a moneylender and a brothel keeper, not a military man. He wouldn't risk a single Lannister soldier or a single coin from the royal treasury. What do you have to lose? A brothel keeper? And if you succeed? Name me Warden of the North. Dude. Baelish constantly is making moves, bro. Literally, an, epi <clears throat> an episode ago, he was talking to Bolton on how they will work together. This, this episode, he wants to take Warden of the North fr from Bolton, bro. Like, he's constantly making moves. I love it. A Lannister and a Marktown. They have no idea how dangerous that is. We must protect them. Yes, my prince. You haven't had to use that axe of yours in a long time. I hope you remember how. I remember how. That weapon is crazy. Also, that's not an axe, right? That's a... Uh, a glaive? Right? Was that a glaive? It's something like that, bro. That weapon is crazy. Definitely one of the cooler weapons in the show. Unbowed. Unbent. Unbroken. What was that? Unbowed, unbent, unbroken? That's a nice little mantra. Oh shit. They're going at the same time? That was something stupid. We have to go, Marcella. Now. You hurt him! He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to. Oh! They're here. <laughs> shit. <clears throat> oh hell yeah. Whoa, look at those daggers. What the fuck? How do you fight against the whip? That's cheating. <laughs> Fighting against someone that knows how to use the whip is really fucking hard, I feel like. Drop your weapons. Big dude is here. Big dog. When you were whole, it would have been a good fight. <laughs> Shit. You fight pretty good for a little girl. Not bad. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. I want to see the, the guy with the glaive fight. Has the crown suddenly stopped needing the troops gold and wheat? My house supplies? I can assure you, our alliance with House Tyrell remains... Do you expect the alliance to continue after you've thrown our future into prison? As I said, I didn't imprison anyone. As for your veiled threats... What veil? <laughs> what veil? I'm keeping it real, honey. Well, I think that's quite enough of that. Faith calls Queen Marjorie forward. You call me forward? Yes. We have some questions for you. I am the queen. 
you are. And according to the law of the seven, neither kings nor queens are exempt from testimony at a holy inquest. Ooh, fuck. What the fuck? Who are these guys, man? They're kind of ruling shit right now. My God. Tommen, you got you got a balls up, bud. I know Tommen's supposed to be a gentle king and whatever, but dude. That was the moment where he said no. You know what I'm saying? Or he should have said no. Yes, I swear. Thank you, your grace. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's up. It's up. It's up. Oh, man. The faith is satisfied there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial for Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. What? Oh, my Their God. Their false witness before the gods is as grave a sin as any, my lady. Oh, no. Why? Cersei's winning. I don't like it. Tommen. Tommen! Tom and speak Thomas. the fuck up, kid. Tom and I will bring her dead. Take your hands off. Tom and you see, this is fucked up. Cause here's here's what I'm thinking now. Joffrey was obviously terrible, you know, but Joffrey would make orders, right? He wouldn't hesitate to tell you to chop off someone's head. Okay, which is terrible, yes, but at least he fucking did king shit sometimes Tommen is literally doing nothing he's pass he's too passive that's not that's also not good that's kind of an awesome contrast though okay game of thrones okay <laughs> Tommen needs to speak the fuck up man and how long have you loved him Miranda true did you imagine that he would be with you forever is that it and I came along and ruined it oh shit I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home, and you can't frighten me. Let's fucking go, Sansa. Hell yeah. I love this new Sansa, man. You know what I'm saying? Sansa in the past seasons would have been, you know, shivering and scared in place, but nah, not this Sansa. She's speaking up now. Nah. That's what's up. If you please, my lady, will you take my arm? No. Lord Ramsay, he said I'm to take your arm. I'm not touching you. Please. <laughs> He'll punish me. You think I care what he does to you? Oh, shit. <sighs> and he's too scared to tell her the truth that he, he didn't actually kill Bran and Rickon. Which I can't blame him for, because Ramsay kind of chopped off his dick. So... Pause. I take this man. There you go. <clears throat> take off your clothes. Oh, no, no, no. You stay here, Reek. Ah. You watch. Ah. Fucking Ramsey, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh, hell no, nah, bruh. <laughs> Ramsey. Fuck, man. Is she really about to lose it like this? Plot armor? I don't fucking know. Like, nah, man. This is not cool. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Ramsey is a fuckboy, bruh. Nah, bro. That's the end of the episodes. Uh, sorry, I... I just looked away just because I wasn't sure if they were going to show it. And that wasn't really something I wanted to see. So I, I looked away. Oh, sorry. What the fuck happened there? So yeah. Um, oh, man. Fucking Ramsey, dude. I think... I mean, I think we already knew 
that he was worse than Joffrey, but this definitely makes him worse than Joffrey, what he just did. Is that not basically rape? She didn't want him to. No one wanted him to, except for himself. Even Miranda didn't want him to. Shit, shit, that, that bitch crazy. <sighs> All right, we're just gonna gloss over. I don't even want to talk about it. It's so fucking just left field. I don't even want to talk about it. So, fuck Ramsey. He needs to get it. Like he needs to whatever. Something bad needs to happen to him. That's all I'm saying, you know. And I rarely want to. It, and I'm, I'm I'm aware this is like a fictional show, and I don't even want to like wish that upon a fictional character. But something bad needs to happen to that dude. He is not cool. Oh my god. Anyway, all right. Uh, what else happened in that episode? Um. What else? What else? Let me see. I'm gonna go and just gloss over what happened real quick. So Arya has has been in the faceless room. That's what we're calling it, right? Where Jockin, and I guess whoever is a faceless man, has access to all of these faces of people who have sacrificed themselves for the many faced god. Okay, that's a lot of disguises, and the the uh, the game of many faces teaches you. When you put on one of these faces, you have to become that person wholeheartedly and genuinely. So everyone, even, you know, a man like Tyrion is going to believe you. Okay. So I do like how Jockin, instead of teaching her, you know, how to fucking stab with a dagger, how to assassinate with an arrow or how to use her needle correctly or whatever other assassination techniques. Instead of doing that, he's teaching her how to lie. How to be a straight up, how to disguise yourself in the crowd, how to act as someone else, because that's what matters first. Honestly, Arya is pretty damn good at killing, you know, but this, this lying technique and, you know, changing your like mannerisms, that shit's fucking hard. So I do like how he's teaching her that first. Very cool. Very cool. Love it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Happy end. It looks like Tyrion and Jorah are being taken to the fighting pits, which is good. That's where Daenerys is, right? And Jorah is actually a good fighter. He wasn't lying. He beat a Dothraki blood rider who was right hand man to call Drogo. So that's actual fact there. Good shit. You know, I was actually, um, I was actually expecting Tyrion to do most of the talking, but Jorah actually, uh, you know, put his two cents in and that helped in convincing these, uh, the, these bandits here that um, take them to the fighting pits and see what he's got. You know what I'm saying? So I like that, that they kind of tag team that one there. Very cool. Very cool. Um, the fight, Jamie and Braun between the Charlie's Angels, Charlie's Angels Dorn girls. Very cool. Very cool fight. I want to see the guy with the glaive fight, though. The huge fucking polearm glaive weapon. I want to see him fight, dude. That weapon is definitely the coolest weapon we've seen in the show. Very fucking cool. I'm also noticing Dorn is very fashionable. Or at least the kind of fashion that I like. You know what I'm saying? It's very, like, uh, you know, low-key but high-key at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So, very cool there. And I guess the last thing I should talk about is... That little trial that was held with the faith. What is their thing called? The seven? I don't know what it's called, but they're kind of ruling shit right now. They have the power to put Marjorie, uh, like, like contain her and put her on the stand. Like what? And again, this is a good example of Tommen on, you know, initially when I first met Tommen after Joffrey died, I was like, okay, maybe he'll be a better king because he, he seems gentle. He seems like a nice kid, right? But there is a problem in that because Tommen is way too passive. He didn't do a damn thing during that trial. You know, he didn't tell them to stop. He didn't send his guards after the, after the, you know, the, the, the freaking faith dudes. He didn't say anything even, I don't think. So as, as cruel and, and nasty Joffrey was, at least Joffrey spoke up and made orders. Tommen stays quiet. And is too passive and doesn't that also doesn't get anything done so t shit i mean tommen is definitely a better person than joffrey but is he a better king that's arguable that's actually arguable which is crazy i love the contrast between these two brothers showing the evil nastiest nastiness of joffrey and the kind-heartedness of tommen and both seem like terrible kings <laughs> 
So um, that's cool. I just want to point that out. Uh, and then, of course, the last fucking scene with Sansa that I don't really want to fucking talk about. Um, so, yeah. Good episode. Good episode. Um, yeah, that definitely got some weird vibes at the end there, but that obviously adds on to the drama. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. He made Reek watch. Yikes, man. Fuck Ramsey. Fuck him. We need... Hey, man. We... Stannis needs to come here now and sack his shit, for real. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, fire, fire episode. Uh, can't wait to watch the next one, obviously. Before I end this reaction, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. You can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, play games, do IRL stuff. Really, really fun. Uh, my Discord, come on in and join that shit. And, of course, my Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching with the full reactions available, of course. With that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all for the next episode of Game of Thrones. All right, peace.